there may be. I mean. Maybe. All know. right, just kidding. Maybe not. Just kidding. Maybe not. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> we're both dashing. Or maybe Parker. Maybe something <laughs> on those lines. But <laughs> he might have a little more hair than me. Maybe. Actually, <laughs> both of them might have a little more hair than me. Come on, dude. What Insania. I like in hair, I make up for in something else. Nice pushback by but Fear. This is going to be your first blood. Uh, yep, Ooh. one more auto attack gets the kill. And right, the fairy Jay fire. Storm. Off to a great start. Yeah, I like that they did th what... Uh, I mean, they kind of did this last game, but they didn't have great heroes for it. This time they have heroes they can kill because they have the battle hunger early on, so they can set up for that first blood with that tri-aggressive that we saw Liquid do last time when they set up for themselves for a first blood. Already looking a lot better for Jay Storm here in game two. Yeah. You know, feels like they have... A lineup that has plenty of power spikes throughout the game. They've got some Roche potential, mm -hmm. good strong lanes, some ganks. The panel was most concerned about this Brax Axe, but you know, it looks like they're securing his lane early. Brax Axe? Axe, 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 Axe? The Brax Axe. Axe. Oh, man. That's Remember his name used to be Brax Axe, Axe, Axe? That's, a, that's an old school one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I, I definitely like the Axe. I think it uh, works really well as, as well with uh, Coddle. You know, you put down the Will O Wisp, you call, either protect it or keep them inside of it for it to flicker again. Um, there's also some neat combos they do have coming out with the Coddle. Coddle plus Axe oh, is really strong. Is Insania. Insania. He's on the feet train here. No fairy fire this time. And Brax takes the last hit this time. Punches him down. Yep. And Moose should be okay. You know, it's just a Legion Commander versus a melee uh, Timber Saw. So, could definitely take these fights. I'm mostly going to tell. Mostly going to be watching the mid lane because I think there's a lot of potential for outplaying here. As a storm, you hit level three, you get the point in the vortex, and you can pull the TA and even go for like setup kills. Quite for very familiar with this matchup, and he's eight and five to zero. Wait, a one one zero of the TA. Wait, that's uh, it's not supposed to be this bad, right? No, I mean TA still does okay in it, but storm you can last hit just fine. Like you're you you break two refraction with your overload hits. Uh, Nine's got to find a way back into this lane. They they do have some roaming potential if. Moose wants to make his way over there before the storm hits six. Yep. Try and set up an arrow kill. So not all is lost, but it is a rough beginning. Yeah, that is for sure. Well, Nine's trying to take the fight to him, but quickly bursting him low. And on this top lane, action breaking out. Moo diving onto Boxy. Has he overextended, fighting in only the level one reactive armor, but it's enough to force Boxy back. Left we'll the salve up. Everybody's low. Nobody's dead just yet. Koikva actually does not get the pull at level 3. Nine will get pushed toward a haste in top. Don't think he's going to use that to move anywhere else. But yeah, this is an interesting lane positioning here, as we tend to see versus Timbersaws. Yeah, and as cutting. they get more levels here, you know, I imagine the Timber is going to get more and more aggressive. Yeah. They did take a lot of early harass from Boxy. It's a super strong lane we see right there. The Koikva being dove in the mid lane. Can Nine Ooh. finish him off? Pops the Fairy Fire, keeps on juking, gets up the Remnant. I don't know if he's got the damage for this Giannis. He's going to have to back away. He's quite low. Ooh, we'll live. Meanwhile, bottom, Arrow onto Insania. But Insania also managed to get Brax low as he was tanking the Creep Wave. Mickey's joining this. Suddenly, three heroes for Liquid coming in. Moose leaps out. Mickey's there to greet him. The call, though, will pull in the toss. Doesn't get the spins he needs. So they lose the Ancient Apparition. All right, I'm Insane liking this game a lot. Already. This is Three great. Brax this time. Stepped a bit far now afterwards and will be... Uh, he's okay. It's not the not the creep Moose was hoping for, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'll take it. Mid yeah. lane, mid lane. Oh! oh! No! A TA needed that one. That would have, like, completely turned the lane around. And she has caught up in CS decently. And this is why I was saying I want to watch the mid lane, right? This is what I was talking about. This is a fun one. You have two players that are very familiar with the matchup. You will always have those type of battles happen out. See who can get the little little bit of damage advantage. Koifa coming out ahead. And now he's got his bottle. Four minute runes coming soon. Nine meanwhile. Just the stick and the mango. So no regen really. A lot of action. I mean, even bottom, they're trading blows again. It's just been nonstop to start this game. Boxy's dragging a huge wave up top. I don't even know where to look. <laughs> Much more fun of a game this time around, that's for sure. Uh, we're battling. What the hell is that? Is that the Legion taunt? I think so. That is absurdly you absurd. feel like you have a, a small orchestra in your, in your eardrum? I was looking at Axe when I heard it, so I was like, wait, what the heck is going on right now? Axe is playing some... Rallying call. As Boxy will get forced away. Does have the wave here. Fear. Gonna keep trying to mess with him a bit. 
Even get some denies and oh. Oh. Fear. Playing very deep is him and his merry band of creeps. Taiga has no TP available. He's still going the with these auto attacks. Blinding light, no CS for you, sir. And now he's dragging a wave. <laughs> and Brax is watching from the off lane, giving him some moral support. <laughs> Trying to just hit creeps. Uh, so Moose did rotate mid. I think he wanted to set up on the storm, but Taiga was around, and uh, it looks like the gank will not materialize. So he heads back bottom, where Taiga sees him. Bounty runes. Looks like I mean, it looks like J Storm's gonna get all four. Wow, that's big. That is that is massive. They're putting pressure on their lanes. They're getting the runes too. Brax. Are they gonna lose Brax or is he gonna get a couple of kills here? He's got a call. He's got some help. One down. Are they gonna get more? Mickey's trying to fight it out. They need some bashes. Battle hunger comes through. One more auto attack. It's not enough. Mickey's in danger here. Moose. Has the arrow. He's going to turn back for the safer, easier kill. Go for the Ancient Apparition. Snowball in. Will and Brax. A bit of hubris for him. And Moose now still trying to find that Insania pickoff. He's going to have one more leap. Oh. Gets to the high ground. Almost got corralled in with the tree there instead. Regen bottling up. Whiffs the arrow. Still goes down. We'll have some time to think about that one. Nice play by Taiga. Even the little picking up the AA inside the snowball there maybe oh, saving the his life for robot, a second. They didn't get it. Oh, yeah, they didn't get that uh, fourth uh, I think one. Is Taiga assuming they already did, I guess? Probably, yeah. <laughs> He's just looking at the regular rune, but no one's actually checking it out. So let's stay for a moment. Muzo has a bottle, though, so he'll probably go get that one now. Woo, four to four, six minutes in. Action packed. Could have been like three more kills, probably. Yep. Brax, he's isolated down by bottom, Mickey. Kind of playing around. He's a bit afraid of these spins. Oh, arrow comes in, though. Big connection on the Tuscar. He shoots, and he scores, and now Mickey's got to back off. Ooh, he, was trying to, he was trying to hit him over the shards, but he actually couldn't. And, yeah, he's scared. That level 3 spin, it's intimidating with Brax having these early phase boots on, too. Yeah, that extra bit of armor, very nice. Yeah. And Moo is maybe the real winner here because he's just be in between the towers. His old TI staple is back, taking the fight to Boxy. Keeping the pressure up, leader in net worth, 48 CS. So, J Storm, there are three cores topping the net worth charts. The Marana is almost even with the Void, in fact. That's pretty insane. Yeah. In fact, they have four of the top five. Mid lane. Just like that. They're going to go on nine, though. This could really turn things around. Has the fresh refraction. They jump up. They commit. Nine. Sentry drops down just to make sure they get this. Come the blinded light from fear. Oh, my God. He gets out. Huge, and while that was happening, they got another kill bottom. They and keep on going. They've got to call a couple more spins with an arrow. Star Storm Ooh. doesn't have the mana for it. Had the stick charges. Oh, he got the stick off. Brax would have had the dunk. He took that like two. I think it was at like 244 or something. Health. He definitely would have got. Okay, wants to go. He's got Chrono. He's gonna commit it for the axe here. Moose just waiting on the side of it, waiting for his arrow to cool down. The axe call comes through, but the snowball to dodge it. Very nicely played by Taiga. And so J-Storm do lose their prized axe. Meanwhile, top, Moo engaging onto Boxy. Relentless aggression from J-Storm this game. Yeah, and it's nice that they have this Timber Saw, like, because they can just leave him. You know, you just have his versus the Legion Commander in a 1v1. He's perfectly fine with after giving the great start from the Coddle being up there. So now Fear can go run around, sap some experience. They weren't really stacking too much. I think they got, I think only the TA actually stacked. Oh, no, one Coddle stack on an Ancient, and then mm. there's a TA stack afterwards. So great movements by Fear, understanding that he can just dip out of top lane and just put pressure on the sides. Well, if you wanted a good good start on the Axe, I know our panel was talking about it. They have gotten it. Yeah. So Brax will be able to keep the, the pressure going. I'm looking forward to a lot of uh, fun Chakra plays that we have in this game. We have the Chakra with the Axe, so the double call that can come out later on, and then the Chakra with the TA is one of the bigger ones for me. You can do Roche. You keep refreshing the refraction and the um, Like uh, do melt, it really early. And they do it really early, yeah. yeah. Even Timber 2 has its merits, you know, your double nukes that we saw in the laning phase. But Liquid are hunting, smoked up, wanting to jump. They're going to go on 9. This is a pretty deep dive, and there's an immediate response with the TP coming in. Moose is there. 9 is dead, though. Do they get a counter kill? It's only a Marana and a Keeper. So a nice rotation by Liquid, but they're going to pay for this with towers. Moo, tier 1 top, taking a beating, and it will the, be going down. They also put two sentries in tower range that got killed immediately after getting it's that very kill. Very expensive so. kill expensive. that. Yeah. Boxy gets the deny. That's big for Liquid. 
Bottom. Brax. Mickey getting spun on. He's One got the more dunk. spin. He's got the dunk. He won't continue. Yeah, still farming pretty well on the void, considering the nonstop pressure he's been under, but absolutely not as good as last game. It's definitely being challenged more. Battle Hunger comes out. Mickey does have some tangos here. It's only a level one Battle Hunger. But they're gonna, you know, start aggressively farming elsewhere now. So Mu <laughs> takes over the enemy jungle. Got the two denies in Mickey's face, keeping that Battle Hunger active. Very nice, and a four hero rotation. They've got a Chrono. They're gonna walk right into Brax. Backup is here though. Nine comes in. Mickey looking for the clean opening, doesn't have it. Goes after Fear, Storm's gonna commit. They really want this Keeper of the Light, but that's leaving Brax free to do whatever he wants on the backside. He gets the dunk, gets the kill. AA down, and now chasing for Taiga. They're probably losing both supports. Trap committed, Mickey, he's tp back for this. He gets off the Chronosphere, at least saves his buddy for the time being. Will end up falling though. Brax has the call, couldn't get it off in time. Time walks out, and now Koikfa, relatively low on mana. Oh, arrow, nice dodge. He's going to be fine for now. Wants to re-engage, but Brax, him up. Brax juking. They're going to, they have no more leaps on Moos. Gets off the Star Storm. Decent damage done onto Koikfa, but they'll just sack the Marana. And Koikfa will get a killing spree. All right. So 16 kills in 11 minutes. That's a, that's that's a lot some, of action. That's some Dota. Yeah, that's a lot of action. That Chronosphere by Mickey was uh, really optimistic. They don't have the levels coming out of the supports yet. You know the AA wasn't six before the Tome. You don't have Legion Commander anywhere near. Bottom lane, they're gonna roll in and they blow up Brax. That is the debut of the Ancient Apparition Ice Blast nonstop. And also looks like Moo is trying to chase out Boxy with the Chakram, has a chain Ooh. off the mark. That tree is not there anymore. Does not connect. Yeah, but that was, that was uh, bottom was both the, t the Tomes, right? Both Tomes being eaten by the support so they can set up to kill. On to Brax, which is going to be great for Taiga. Now he gets a lane for himself, too. Yeah, so Liquid are going to have that pickoff potential now. Yeah. With the Void, with the uh, AA, and, and with the, the Tusk, eventually perhaps even the Legion. So plenty of ways to set up an Ice Blast. I noticed something a bit interesting, too, on the Legion. Uh, I'm not sure if this was a mistake or if we have to ask him, but he has Tranquil Boots. Huh. Why do you think Tranquil Boots? Because he accidentally built them. Okay. That's a that's a painful blunder if it is the case. I don't know what that, I think he had boots and a windlace and he was going to complete soul ring or something and it gave him that. That's that's my that's what I think happened. I don't know. Triangle boots for me are always a bit of a weird one when you're a hero that gets hit a lot and you're hitting. Yeah. Normally want to see the phase. Yeah, or even try I mean you're tries, yeah. Either way, we won't look at it. Action mid, Mickey jumping in, going on to nine. The snowball comes through. They don't connect on the shards. The ice blast also gonna miss. Whoa. Now Moose comes in. He eats the punch. He eats the ice blast. He takes an unnecessary bullet as nine was out of there. But the trade might be Tiger. No, Tiger's gonna live. They are getting another tower though. Moo and Brax combining. So two tier ones down, both side lanes compromised. Max Blink coming soon. He's up to 1,700 gold. That's going to be pretty huge. He's going to be able to constantly set up for kills around the map when I feel like Liquid, they're going to be a little bit less so able to because Boxy's not Boxy's not itemizing for the pickoff. As we've seen a lot of Legions not really do. You itemize just for like the team fight and you play around, press the attack, and you just press your core. Are the Tranquil Boots irking you? <laughs> <laughs> they irk me. <laughs> I'm clicking on them to see if they're still real. It happens. I, I, we've seen a couple people do that before. And I think every time we've asked a pro about it, they've been like, yeah, I, I didn't mean to do that. That's the only reason why I assume that he didn't. Oh, they're rotating. They're going to take this fight top. Liquid, they might have bit off more than they can chew. Smoke here. Mickey's so hunting, but Brax is lurking in a very, very deep spot. And here comes the TP. TA's there. She got off the refraction before this started. So they're going to have to commit a lot if they want to even hope to kill her. Instead, the trap is from. They're on to Boxy now. Brax and Moo trying to finish him off. Chasing after the H Apparition as well. They'd like to get multiple kills here. Chain forward. Oh, the damage. That's what you like to see. And they get the catch on Boxy. So it's going to be two and a Chrono for basically nothing. Some power damage, I suppose. Big mistakes there from Liquid. Not, I guess, maybe not expecting j -Storm to all be set up there, but they knew. They had the ward down. They had all the information. Oh, that's your blink on Brax. 
Yeah, it's going to make it a lot easier for them to set up. And Mu is this super strong frontliner at the moment that doesn't really have much of a response. Should they have the AA, but just getting through his sheer HP is a problem right now, not the regen. So if you're J Storm, you've got a really nice early lead here. Are you just constantly battling and, and pushing, taking fights? Yeah, I think you've got great vision. Actually, I think when you get Death's OTA, you can just force a Roche. You've got this Will-O-Wisp that can guard the area. You've got the Blinding Light. You've got Axe with a Blink Dagger, and you have Vision already in the Rax, most important spot. Catching out Insania, I believe, was trying to TP. Well, he'll get a trip back to the Fountain, but not the one he was hoping for. Nice catch. Nice kill. Meanwhile, bounties are spawning. Koikfa's going to grab one. He is Ooh. hunting. Standing on a Maybe trap. trying he's... to contest this TA. He saw some low Ancient, so he's probably like TA's healing or elsewhere, obviously. Yeah, but she's got the Deso now. Yeah, she's very, very strong. And looking to go again on the top lane. Boxy is scurrying up north, heading for the hills. He's just going for full armor items, it looks like. Yeah, Buckler into a medallion. Oh, well, Brax is going to... Oh, he found him. Didn't actually get the call, but forced Boxy to cancel his own TP, and now they can chase. Coming in from behind his fear. Can blast him back, set up Brax. Give him that call. Just needs to get a little bit closer. Chain coming through, Chakram as well. The slow, the call, and the kill. Everything for J Storm and nine hunting. Deso is arriving. Is it just right in the pit now? I think they could, yeah. I think you can just like arrow in and then Fury just throw a constant Chakras. Right now he's gonna clean up this next ancient, but they already have they have this great ward down, which is the big indicator for me that they could easily go for that Roche. Maybe they want to protect the ward, though. Maybe they look for one more kill or so into going for that Roche. Oh, the caught out Taiga. He's in trouble. Does roll his way in, but can he make his way back out? It looks like Brax wants to go on this, but Nine's playing rather safe. He's respecting that potential Chronosphere rotation. Though they do see the Void top, so... Arrow. Whoop. But it'll be fine. But it hit. It looked nice. Very sexy. Not for Liquid, though. Nothing sexy about the way this game has gone. No, Koikfa extremely far behind in this one. It not even finished. He's about to have the Kaya finished up, and they just lost their third Tier 1. So access to Roshi even harder now. Jay Storm, they're just going straight for Tier 2s. Yep. The whole squad on Liquid is up, and they don't care. Ice Blast cooling down. No mana on Insania, though. He might have to go back to Fountain just to get this off. Yeah, this might actually just be the better play. You're getting more map control out of it, and you're not risking anything. Oh, you're getting a call, too. Sets up the arrow, drags him away from the creep. Snowball dodge, very nice. Uh, will o -Wisp, though. Follow-up's there from nine. Scores the kill. The tower's going to be next. Ice Blast does connect on two, but they don't really want to fight as uh, Mu going to be building a completed Bloodstone at 17 minutes. Uh-oh. Okay. They're looking for him. The Bash Bros are onto him. Brax is there fear. with the Battle Hunger. Fear as well. Blinding Light back into a Call Chain combo. Can they burst this Void down? Oh, he gets the Bash. walk away. But, well, Another man. Call. All right. Give him the chop. Really and meanwhile, Quick for bottom lane. He's almost out of mana. He's going to go for the TP. He ain't going to make oh, it. Oh, man. Nine slays him. And this, that is really the story of this game. This is... That Seb clip, you know, slay, slay, slay if you're J-Storm. Yeah, definitely. They're, yeah, they're able to just set up so much with how well, I think Dick Parker was the big one who said it, right? Like, have Brax have a good lane start and he can just cruise, run around the map, killing pretty much everybody. He's 8, 3, and 5. He's 13 of the 15 kills that they have found so far is because of him with his movements and his start. All started bottom with those early kills on Insania, and then it's yep. just snowballed ever since. Yeah, and this Shocker combo with Berserker Call is so absurd. You call, you get Shockered, you call again. It's just <laughs> bad. It's six and a half seconds of Disable. Yeah. Taiga TPing out. Brax. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's close. Close. And Fear is just a mana bot, so his... his Compadres don't need to ever go back to base or anything like that. He just walks around, keeps chakraing them, so they keep their presence on the map constantly. So for Liquid, like, obviously this is a great late game lineup if they can get there. They've got Storm, they've got Void, they have good pickoff potential. You just, do you just look to split push and kind of dodge fights? Are you trying to, like, smoke and force engagements? What's your game plan to get back into this? Um, I think at the moment they can just play this to like sit back and farm. I don't need to push their lanes out, so I think them farming is okay. And I think 
Yeah, like you said, I think the late game just highly benefits them. So I think just read the map, defensive wards, and if you see them start to clump up, you can look to take a fight. Like, just get your avoid in a good spot. You have to try to catch this back line, though. Like, the Coddle, it may, you may, like, I feel like people always think it's like, he, he doesn't do that much, but Coddle does, it's just insane how much impact that hero does have. It's hard to get to him when yeah. you got a timber and an axe all up in your grill. But you do have a storm. That so. is true. Should have ways to at least pierce through. And they do have counter engage. They do have this, uh, you know, the Tusk Snowball, which I think is really important for Taiga. He's not really having, you know, like a blink dagger early on on this hero, but if he's able to get in position to get those, he can turn the tides a bit too. They also have that Dispel that can come up from the Legion. So a couple different little factors for Liquid that could turn things. As, oh, that's the go for Roche. DD outside the pit. <laughs> nice. Nine will take it. Yep. And Liquid do not seem like they're going to be contesting this one. Ice Blast. Too fast. Coming in, but the DD makes it way too quick. They're not even shockering to double up the melts that we saw some teams do. Yeah, Liquid will just take this moment to farm a wee bit more, but they have no interest in contesting this. Now even more so. Sit back and kind of just farm. Hope you can get some pickoffs uh, for this side of Liquid. Get those lanes pushed out, more, most importantly, so that J Stone can't just start knocking on your tier two's bottom and top. How do you feel about this? Mickey going for the Shadow Blade. I imagine eventually the Silver Edge for the Timber Saw. Yeah, I did. I saw him queued it up. I wasn't sure if he was actually going to finish it. That's not a very common point pickup. So maybe they're going to actually just play for the split push and try to catch people who go to react to it. And then also, eventually, it'll build into a silver. It'll build into that silver edge. Hmm. Not sure. Does mean he's not team fighting. You know, like BKB, obviously, not a game winner this time around. There's still the call. There's the physical damage from TA, but would definitely help you survive in these team fights. Yeah, I think they're just they're feeling a little bit afraid, as they, as they well should be in this game. And just going to be playing more of that like split push, try to farm, try to catch back up because they're just, yeah, it's such a deficit. Blink As call. Jump. Finds Quake, but this is a big one. Look for the double call. Don't Look even for the hate dunk. It. <laughs> screw that. Screw that extra call. No need. That ganking combo is devastating. Yeah. It's a lot of damage that comes out also from Moose. Like even the Mirana. 3, 4, and 12, he's having a really good game. 15 of the 16 kills has been participated with Moose. And he's got a Vessel, so this is a really good item to pick up. Particular versus that Void. Moonlight Shadow rotation. Chase Storm hunting. Yeah, Mickey is just playing enemy woods, so he wants nothing to do with this Chase Storm squad right now. Yeah, they're on trying, attempted at recovery. Yeah, you can see Taiga just with an Invis rune roaming over that way. <laughs> it's like, let's just, let's uh, nomadically abandon home find a new place to call our own. Yeah. And we see there by our other, uh, one of our observers, enemy TA is level 17. So if we look at that, it's a very high level TA compared to everybody else. The next highest level is like 14s on the side of Liquid. Well, on the side of Liquid. And he didn't have a great start either. You know, gave up that solo kill to the Storm early on. Mm -hmm. But, oh, how the tides have turned. Ancients, yeah. Just got a couple Ancient stacks and a couple kills and Templar Assassins. BKB Blink finished. With that Desso. They did almost lose their Courier, I think, to the Void. But barely survives, delivers the pipe for Mu. J-Storm might force the issue here. Time to go high ground? I do think they could. BKB, Blink, Pipe. They've, they've got the tools to be able to try. I don't see why they wouldn't at least force a reaction. Oh, you see the Shadow Blade build on Void. You're thinking, they don't want to fight. We're going to take it to them. Yeah. Like pipe, look at this. Like, how do they? This is a 70 health per second timber saw. Smoke up by Liquid. Got to do something. What's the initiation going to be? Koikfa is trying to find that backline that you talked about, but the backline is smoked, and I mean, here look comes at, the pause. Look at Mika's positioning on the mini map too. The void is all the way in the back trying to find this. So, so you they can have see. To, they have a sentry, but it's not in the best position. He they could, want this coddle. And they found catch him. them. They're going to jump it, but the instant call. Koikva getting caught by the Ignis. He's going to pop instantly. <laughs> Mickey comes in, though. Has the Chronosphere. He catches out two. I don't think he's killing this Mirana quickly. He's going to have to commit everything for it. Legion gives him the attack speed. Just doesn't have the damage. It's a buyback recommitment from three heroes on Liquid. Mickey's still going to go down. Is he going to buy back as well? Not sure it matters. Man, they threw everything in the kitchen sink and 
nine the last man standing as far as damage goes, dishing it out that fight. It's like 4,400 damage. I mean, that's when you're sitting there as fear and you're like, got me. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, guys. You got me. <laughs> But no, they, that, uh, they did it the right way. They got the wraparound perfectly, but they were you could see how prepared Jaystone was. Brax was instant on that blink call. Even though it was still safe, like the snowball, I believe, grabbed Koikva immediately, but it didn't matter. It, it, was, it was already enough time for them to bring down the burst. And Mike, he does not have the damage to go for these type of chrono plays. Even though I think he got pressed the attack at the end, too. Yeah, but still it was, it was towards so the end of the chrono. Yeah. At best, maybe he gets the Marana kill, yep. which would not have won them the fight. But then he overcommits a little bit, trying to get ambitious for the Marana, and just gets spirit vesseled and turned on. Well, that's gonna even further delay Liquid's hopes of taking a big team fight. Twenty uh, Bloodstone charges here on Mu. Pipe complete, very God. tanky. How do they? Ca oh man, catching up this storm, catching up this void is definitely a big problem. They're just they're so far behind, and. I don't think the J-Storm's really going to give them too much leniency, too much breathing room at all. I feel like if I, if I was in their position, I'd be like, let's just stick together. You don't get picked up by any Chronos, picked up by the Storm with an AA Blast, and you can just look to end it. You've got Mech, I believe, coming too. So Mech, Pipe, BKBs, you're fully ready to go for the push. They're going to head back bottom. They just lost their Aegis, so if there was ever a window of opportunity, it is right now. But Chrono is still cooling down for 25 seconds. So J-Storm moving in, working on the melee racks. Storm just going to try to shove out that mid lane first. Now the call. Quick initiation on Boxy. Nine is there. The follow-up comes through. Ooh. Dead. 80 seconds. Still dude. waiting on the Void Chrono. It's going to be too late. They'll just lose a Rax. They're probably losing Trines next. I mean, yeah, And, and Jay Storm are just saying they can't fight us even with their cooldowns. There's no Legion. And even if there were, I'm not sure it would matter. Moose already rotated mid. Knight's going to finish up the range. They're going to try to end this game before 30 minutes. Yeah. I mean, Moose at 80 HP per second. Look at this. No cares. Takes the reactive armor stacks as well, since they're tanking. This, this I is mean, a Mickey's set. Mickey's trying to backdoor tier ones. J Storm are coming for your base. You got to do something. They're waiting I don't for know what that Orchid. Something is. Koikva's Orchid is about oh, look eighty at this. gold away. But look it's at this. There's a moonlight shadow arrow in the river. Oh, just gonna miss. And even if the, I guess even if they hit the void, he's still gonna get away. But yeah, they've lost their base. Two lanes, two melees. J Storm are hunting. They want to get this void too, but the ward is going to scout them out. And yeah, they recognize there's just no way they can fight Quakefa. Trying to cut this mid wave, heavy amount of TPs. He knows something's up. Fear with the TP out. Snowball. Oh, it's just going to clip him. I think the TP might have completed time. Would have been close, but in any case, Mickey there to look to finish him up. But Brax with the big save comes in with the call. Gets off the battle hunger. The follow up call comes through. Fear with the distant shock room. Dunk. Oh, rims out. Mickey has the, the chrono. Is this the opening? Is this the opening? Oh, no. They may toast him. They're controlling him. Here comes the call. Round number three. And this one, the death of Mickey. Three heroes dead. No buybacks. Make it four. The end is upon Liquid as J Storm cleanly move over to that top lane. Oh, Koikva had his Orchid gold. But Nine shows up with his own Orchid because he's snowballed like crazy on TA already that he has an Orchid as well on top and easily gets the solo kill as they, yeah, clean up that last Rex. And this is looking in the books. Man, two very stompy games in a row. Game one just felt like there was no hope for Jay Storm, almost based on the draft. Game two, you know, obviously Liquid's draft looks pretty well-rounded, but they just got run over in the lanes. Yeah, this bottom lane went, I mean, all the lanes went great, right? Mid lane, Nine. It still went pretty even, I would say. He, and then he just backs up and farms stacks. Fear had some super clutch early game moves. I felt like he saved a couple people with these that blinding one, lights. Uh, that one blindy light mid, yeah. where it like, knocked them to the low ground, that was huge. So it's now Mega Creeps, <laughs> sub 30 minutes. And Liquid not ready to call the GG. They will fight on for now. I think they maybe just, I don't see a way back in this This one is where them. you're strategizing for game three, perhaps? Yeah. I don't, they don't have the heroes to keep the waves out. I mean, Mjolnir is finished on the Void, so he can, but yeah, the rest of them is pretty impossible. So they're, they're going to look for a fight. If they 5-0 wipe them, maybe they, they're just going to be like, all right, let's go. 5-0 wipe, you're probably looking at like a 8K gold swing or something. Yeah, so maybe, yeah. That could do like it. That.
Vicky is gonna run into Moo initially. He's actually got a three hero Chrono right now. He gets Ooh. it off too with okay. the Ice Blast. Is this the opening that Liquid have been waiting for all game long? Moo is the pipe. He can't get it off. Oh He's gonna God. go down in double buyback instantly, but the rest of the squad joins. Nine moving in, drops the trap. Oh. Does catch two on the high ground, looking for Insania, trying to finish him off, but his BKB's committed. He may have overextended, not respecting them here on the high ground. Ghost Scepter by Taiga. They're working on him. They're working on him. They're going to get the TA2. That's three heroes finished off. Liquid did lose three of their own. Void dead, Storm dead, AA dead. Obviously, on paper, a win for Liquid as far as gold goes, but now the base is in jeopardy. They're just going straight in. Yeah, they can just look to climb. They can just look to end it. Nine even buying back aggressively. Throne time. Yeah, no Chrono, no Storm, no AA. Still got about 15 seconds, and these are these are not regular creeps. These are Mega Creeps. Oh, Mega Time walking dangerously right through the arrow. Foxy. Foxy Troy. also backing off. Moo just says, let's kill buildings, guys. Buildings are the goal here. Ignis as they snowball their way out of it, but also deep behind enemy lines. Taiga trying to make it back one direction. Boxy dragging them the other, but the creeps are just working on these buildings. Mickey so dangerously low. With the Mjolnir, tries to keep the base up. The creeps keep on marching in. Mickey gets ensnared, and the GG is called. A stomp into a counter stomp, and we're going to a game three. Yeah, this one, J-Storm looked to have a, I mean, infinitely better draft across the board. I think just everything. They can actually make aggressive plays. They have nine on a hero that I feel like 